Hey guys, uh, Scooter Street here. We've got an Aprilia SRMT here today. Uh, but it's had a, um, a bit of an issue, as you can see. It doesn't have an engine in it. So um, what, uh, what happened with this one, uh, the customer reported that um, the scooter stopped while it was riding. So um, we inspected the piston, suspecting it might be um, uh, an engine issue. And um, this is what we found. There's a whole bunch of um, uh, detonated bits of metal smashed into the top of the piston. So um, upon further inspection, what we ended up discovering is that... Um, there was a whole bunch of uh, these small pieces of metal flying around the cylinder and the inside of the engine, which um, if you've um, done a bit of scooter tuning before, you might recognize these as being pieces of uh, the main bearing cage. So this is a crank bearing. This is uh, the right hand bearing that we pulled, uh, the left hand bearing, sorry, that we pulled out of it on the very outer side. So you'll see that on this crank bearing, this is the main bearing that the crank of the scooter sits into. So this bearing sits in the engine casing, and then the crank uh, slides into the inside of it there. So on the inside of it, of the actual bearing, you'll see there's a bunch of um, uh, little sort of round shapes there, um, and that is uh, the cage for the balls. So there's a ball sitting in each of those little humps, and um, the cage holds the balls in place and, um, and spaces them out so that it can spin around like a bearing. This is the bearing out of uh, the right-hand side of the scooter, and you'll see that all the balls are just sitting loosely in there because the cage has completely disintegrated. And um, as it's done so, ejected all the pieces of cage through the um, through the crank, and they've made their way into the cylinder, and um, pretty much caused a a very big mess, as you can see there. So, luckily, um, this bike actually had a Molossi 70 kit, um, and um, they're just a cast iron cylinder. They're they're, they're pretty damn tough. So. Uh, because the piston is made from alloy and the cylinder is made from cast iron, the cylinder is significantly harder than the piston. So the piston uh, pretty much took the brunt of the um, of the damage, and the cylinder ended up being okay with a light hone. You can see um, there's a, a massive score down the side of it here, where a piece of the bearing cage has wedged itself down the side of the cylinder. So it's it's um, honestly pretty impressive that that cylinder was still okay. But, um, definitely um, definitely a good one to to put on the shelf offerings to the gods of speed so we've um we've rebuilt the crank in this bike um put a new piston in there obviously given the cylinder a hone uh and um, obviously with these uh Molossi kits um the head gasket is uh is reusable because it's an o-ring and um we've just um replaced the the base gasket so we're going to go ahead and put this um put this engine back in the bike not a um not a job that you want to do but um uh, I guess it reiterates the point that if your bike is making an unusual noise, you must investigate it. Um, this, um, this scooter had a slight bearing whirring noise. Um, the history on this scooter is the person who owned it previously has done some work to it and installed some cheap eBay parts and some bits and pieces. And uh, whilst we don't know, we suspect it uh, potentially. Um, this is what's um, led to the, to the failure of the bearing because this is a fairly unusual thing to happen on a Piaggio. Um, we've seen it um, over the years uh, some Piaggio engines with a lot of K's have a noisy bearing on the right hand side but it's very very rare that you'll see a, um, a complete disintegration of the bearing so I'm going to go ahead and get the engine back in this scooter and uh, get it back to the customer